Chapter 21 Well, I didn't get the license to sell coffee in my showroom, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. I didn't want to waste the beautiful space that I had worked so hard to create. And let's be honest, the club, with its wood-panelled rooms and colonial flavour, made me feel quite adventurous. So I turned the Jaguar Club Shanghai into a private gentleman's club, a place where my friends and I could go out together, have fun, and escape the chaos of the city. I thought it would be a nice place to relax and enjoy some company, you know. In the end, things with the license didn't go exactly as planned, but that's life, right? You just have to keep pushing through and making the best of what you have. And let me tell you, we had a lot of fun at the Jaguar Club Shanghai. The Jaguar Club Shanghai started to become something else. It turned into this refuge for true friends, fun, and shared stories. I would invite my friends, and they would bring their friends, and soon we had this eclectic mix of people from all kinds of backgrounds joining us at the club. There I was, the president, serving carefully prepared espresso nation coffee, along with a selection of fine liquors to my guests. The whole place was buzzing with life, you know. You could hear the coffee brewing, feel the soft jazz playing in the background, and listen to the clinking of glasses as people toasted to good times, past, present, and future. The atmosphere was so warm and welcoming that it was hard not to get caught up in it all. Friendships became stronger, new bonds were formed, and everyone seemed to appreciate the exclusivity of our little hideaway. Late into the night, we would sit on comfortable sofas, sipping my meticulously prepared coffee creations, ice-cold beer, and fine spirits, just talking, sharing stories, laughing, and really getting to know each other. It felt like we had found something truly special, and I couldn't help but feel a bit of pride for what the Jaguar Club Shanghai had become. <laughs>